statistic. It is estimated nearly 6 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease or some form of dementia. Well, getting medication to the affected area of the brain before the disease takes hold is the challenge. And in today's HealthCast, Local 10 Medical Specialist Christy Kruger reports on how what's old is new again when it comes to a potential medical breakthrough. A simple squirt is all it takes to send an antihistamine or moisturizing saline spray right into someone's nose, treating dryness or allergies. But when it comes to impacting something as serious as Alzheimer's disease, could it be the nose knows best? <laughs> For a decade now, Dr. Quinn Wang and her team at the Medical Center of Georgia in Augusta have been working with a peptide derived from a surface receptor in the brain. And this receptor is, um, it, it, draws our attention because um, it's a, a super essential one uh, to protect the, uh, the neurons of the brain from all various insults. Speculation is that delivering a targeted therapy through a nasal spray could be the perfect way to get at brain diseases and injuries. For the, for the central uh, drugs, right? So the nasal delivery is really a very attractive path. In the, the roof of your nose are little nerve fibers that enable you to smell. Um, and if you were to hit those nerve fibers with a drug, the drug could actually be carried back into the brain. So you can get actually a much higher brain concentration than going through the normal routes where you take a pill and it gets metabolized by your GI tract. Dr. James Galvin is with the U Health Comprehensive Center for Brain Health, and he says this study also showed promise in treating epileptic seizures. But he says clinical trials on nasal sprays for other conditions have also revealed shortcomings. It's really important to develop a device that delivers the proper dose in the proper part of the nose. Delivered to the wrong part of the nose, it's not absorbed into the brain. Dr. Wang and her colleagues are still looking for funding to continue their research beyond mice models and into human studies. We just really hope you know, we just not only cure the mice, but uh, we want to um, optimize this and test in humans. That's, that's our ultimate goal. Although the goal is to get an approved therapy started early in the process, the doctor says breaking the cycle of dementia at really any point can potentially be beneficial. Hopes are with NIH funding, human trials on her project can begin within about five years. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger.